Hello, this is Manash Patel from IntimateGrinkerTrade.com. Today is January 19, 2013. It's not 14, uh, 13. Uh, this is our weekly Ichimoku analysis for the currency Forex market, uh, where we're going to cover all the currencies, including yen, which a lot of people have been talking about. So, yen's been one of the major currencies that's been trending, uh, but we'll see if we can find some other currencies that are starting to trend or uh, may uh, in the future. Uh, anyways, this is our normal disclaimer to state this is for education use only. Uh, we're not soliciting you to buy or sell any particular instrument at all if you decide to do so that you're doing that at your own risk. Uh, today, all the charts will be shown are going to be basically from TradeStation. Okay? Here are my contact details here. You could ask, uh, email me at info at eiicapital.com or you could access call us at any one of our office locations or you could go to ichimukutrade.com, access our multiple time frame email alerts or heat maps and or other uh, videos or trading tools that are available uh, for free. Okay? Normal. So let's go through and start going for the currencies. Uh, let's go through and start looking at Australian CAD. Remember on the left hand side is basically the weekly time frame uh, and on the right hand side is basically going to be the uh, sorry left hand side is going to be the daily time frame right hand side is going to be the weekly time frame uh, so that's basically it if you look at Australian CAD really doing nothing right now it's at a minor resistance level right now uh, the, uh, and minor support is going to be basically at 352 uh, major support is going to be basically at 259 moving forward but this thing's just consolidating right now so nothing really going on right now uh, Australian yen still on a tear up doesn't even look like it's hesitating at all uh, so th this one's definitely bullish of course uh, nothing really could do here you may start looking for counter trend but not even anything on counter trend right now for that Australian yen uh, sorry Australian Switzy basically hit a major resistance level at 98.87 uh, it's kinda caught between 98.87 and 96.50 so it's basically in the counter trend mode right now so nothing really to talk about there. Australian yen, sorry, Australian New Zealand. This one looks like it can sit there and start a trend to the downside, but it's got to break its support basically at 2400. Resistance on this one's going to be basically 274024. Australian USD. This one definitely looks like it started a trend to the upside, but it's got to break its resistance level of 6000 uh, or 600. On uh, support, basically, it's going to be at 386 moving forward for this one. Last week, I kind of thought maybe it could sit there and break it, but didn't sit there and uh, have a conviction here to keep on going. So it's very interesting. Cat Switzy, it's bounced off its major resistance level at 9515 uh, and kind of broke for its support uh, that it had and trying to get to its next major support. Uh, which is going to be basically 9300 even, uh, which would be the next support. CAD yen still on a basic tear move up. Doesn't even look like it's even hesitating at all. So uh, definitely uh, nothing bullish that you can enter if you have not already. Uh, but uh, definitely wait for a counter trend move or a pullback before entering. Uh, Switzy yen, you can see here, this had a little, little pullback here because this bar is red. You can see that here. Uh, but this is, seems like it's the weakest of all the yen trades right now uh, and had a little hesitation here. So this could be one that's great to start looking for counter trend if you're a counter trend trader. Uh, but definitely wait to see exactly what happens with the yen overall. Uh, on this one, support on this one's going to be basically at 93327. Uh, support and resistance is going to be basically 100, believe it or not. Australian yen. Uh, sorry, sorry, why am I saying the currency is wrong today? Australian, Australia, uh, sorry, Euro Australian, uh, doing really nothing right now. Just sitting there, sitting there, doing really nothing at all. It's at its uh, resistance level here, uh, right here, 2708. Support on this one's going to be 2212 moving forward. Uh, Euro CAD. Uh, really doing nothing hit a major resistance level this week uh, it can sit there and potentially bounce off there and go back to about 29.79 which is going to be a support level here uh, Euro Switzy interesting how this thing was pegged consolidating for a long time and this thing just yanked up all of a sudden 
uh, but it's been <laughs> yanked up straight to its resistance level at 2500 so it's going to be interesting to see on that one but I would definitely stay away from Euro Switzy if anything. Uh, Euro DKK uh, still bullish trend here kind of it's at a resistance level right now uh, so you got to wait and see what happens there at 4592 is basically the support level. Uh, Euro pound, you could see the Euro pound on the daily basically moving up drastically here. But really, just basically change sediments here on a weekly time frame, but definitely needs a major pullback right now. Uh, pullback levels on this one going to be basically, I would give it about 82.28 would be a really good pullback level if we get there. Minor one's going to be about 82.64. Euro yen, just like uh, most of the yen pairs except the Switzy yen, this thing's on a tear, still has no hesitation at all. Uh, so keep an eye on that one. Euro nook, as you can see, Euro basically took off last week with a vengeance on majority against pretty much all the made of the currencies out there. This one basically moved up straight into resistance, which was basically 4,800. Support on this guy is going to be basically around, I would say, about 37.75. Euro New Zealand really doing nothing except consolidating support on this is going to be a 44 50 sorry 55 not any one and resistance on this one is going to be basically I would say roughly around 6,000 Euro SEK uh, really doing nothing at all except consolidating on this one it's really 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 choppy I would say 7,000 is major resistance and basically 48 49 is major support Euro USD, a lot of people are bullish on this one. I think it's kind of tops the heavy now. It's at its major resistance level at 3400. I think it bounced out there and I think it's going to basically undergo a pullback. Minor pullback level is going to be basically 3069 and major pullback level is going to be basically around 2801. Pound Australian, if you look at a pound Australian, really doing nothing right now as far as the weekly is concerned. The daily looks like it's basically start trending here, but does need to basically move down some more. Uh, support it's going to run into is basically roughly around 5,000. Resistance is going to run into is basically 52.96 moving forward now. Pound Switzy, really doing nothing at all. Uh, it's in the cloud, so it's basically consolidating. Pound yen, you can see here a little red bar here, a little movement down, nothing compared to like the Switzy yen, but this has still got a lot of momentum, so this kind of looks like it's the second weakest against to uh, yen right now. Uh, but they're all bullish, believe it or not, in nature. Uh, Pound New Zealand, keep an eye on this one here because this one looks like it's trying to break down. Uh, it's at a major, a minor support level right now. The major ones are going to be down here at basically 86.32. Uh, but that's about some couple of point moves between here and here, so you can make some money. So keep an eye on this one. If you're a day trader, definitely start looking for pound New Zealand to break that support and start going down. New Zealand CAD, if you look here, just consolidating here. Resistance level is going to be 8,400. 8, support is basically going to be 8081. 8, New Zealand Switzy here again, it's at resistance level. Uh, so 85.50 and support on this guy is going to be basically roughly about 76.54. New Zealand yen still going with conviction, nothing to talk about that. New Zealand USD is at a major resistance level, uh, basically 84.50 and support is going to be 81.41. Notice New Zealand is kind of strong and at the consolidation of the patterns at the top of the range right now. Watch for it, maybe New Zealand to start breaking out. Remember last year, if you look at last year, New Zealand USD broke out just right around the same time. Singapore yen, uptrend, nothing to talk about there. Uh, U.S. Canadian still uh, basically in a consolidation pattern. It, it basically bounced off the major resistance level. Uh, and now it's basically support level is going to be roughly about 98.50 moving forward. U.S. Switzy, uh, boring, it's in the clouds, nothing really going on. U.S. DKK, it came out of the cloud here. Could start a bearish trend here on the daily, but the weekly just looks ugly. And you can see all the major, minor support levels you're going to run into before you get to the major ones, which are basically roughly about right here. And my mouse is not even working with me today. 
I would say, let's just say it's about uh, 4,500 is basically where it's at. U.S. Hong Kong I got to its major support of a consolidation pattern here. Couldn't break that level at all. So it's going back to its resistance level at 75.54 moving forward. U.S. Yen still going on a tear. Nothing to even talk about that guy uh, with. U.S. Nook uh, looked like it was starting a bearish trend here. Ran into a major support basically at 5,000. If it could break that, then it has a potential going to basically about 3,000, believe it or not. U.S. SEK, it's out of, uh, it's kind of broke a support a, support a little, uh, which was very, roughly around 51.92, uh, but it's still interesting to see what happens here. This one's ugly, but it's got a lot of minor support levels moving down. Resistance on this one's going to be basically 57.66 moving forward. And lastly, U.S. Singapore dollar here it looks like it's just consolidating right now. Resistance level is going to be basically 23.98 moving forward, and support's going to be basically 2200 on this one. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Here are our contact details here. And please visit our website at jimmycrotrade.com where you can access more free videos. And I'll go also get a trial on the multiple time frame email alerts and heat maps. Thank you.